these days many different types of fields or i'll say most of the life sciences fields definitely have the integration of bioinformatics and it's very important for you to understand to learn what bioinformatics is all about to have a understanding or i'll say fundamental basic understanding of bioinformatics then we have a module on bites and molecules it's very important for students to understand that all the concepts they are learning how they could be applied to different research specialization areas now these research specialization areas uh fields like oncology infectious diseases neurosciences metabolic disorders or agriculture where you can apply the specific type of omics analysis expertise that you will gain next comes identifying a specific field that you want to work on with so you identify a specialized omics field that you want to learn how the analysis is performed and then after gaining an understanding of the analysis workflow you learn how different tools or softwares could be used the first thing comes learning r or python that's a must to know a uh, computing language these days to be able to perform the analysis with different types of omics data and then comes the knowledge of different tools even databases these days have different tools integrated inside them that you can leverage to so extract the data perform the analysis you have these different tools databases and softwares that you need to learn how you you can analyze the data that is lying there in those gold mines i'll say or i'll say data mines that have this data that still needs to be analyzed to interpret biological insights out of it so three resources covering uh the tools r python uh databases tools and softwares that are available openly that you can learn and leverage for analysis of your omics data all right so training aspect is clear if there are any questions from what i have just said you can please put your questions in the chat the moment i take a pause i'll go to the questions and help you um understand after training comes the research specialization tracks now most of you as students you reach out to us and you tell us that you want to work on a dissertation project as january commences most of you have to start with your dissertation now the question comes uh, that once you have your training completed with a specific omics field what type of research question you want to work on with do you want to work with a uh, specific metabolic disorder like diabetes it could be or a specific type of cancer or in the field of agriculture or you want to understand how the uh, omics data looks like in astronauts maybe all right or do you want to understand how new neurosciences or neurodevelopmental or neurodegenerative disorders work so there are different fields that you can uh get a hold of there are different fields for which you have different omics data present learn a specific type of analysis pick up a field and we are good to begin with the research project how do you do that the next step is once you have the track finalized once you have the field finalized after that you have to review literature come up with a research proposal a research question that you want to work on and start your journey we at omics logic uh would be there with you for each and every step to train you to uh come up with your research question and then start your research journey once you have uh completed the step that the the step that i just mentioned and have your research question finalized that's when your program commences now how how does the program work the program works in a way where once your research journey commences the mentor guides you on what work or what steps uh, should be included in your research next so in the training you will get the access to the mentor's lectures those are recorded lectures that you go through and learn from the t bio info platform is uh, is an automated uh, pipeline uh, generated platform that i'll just take you through where all you need to do is just upload your data perform the analysis get the results interpret them and you're good to put your report together all right so students when they have to work on projects in a 
short time period. The pipelines on the T Bio Info platform are really helpful to them because uh, they help them complete their analysis quickly. And also those who require high computing systems but do not have the facilities with them, the platform would help them for the same, would suffice the problem. Next, we'll take you through R and Python collapse. Uh, that I mentioned and the courses that are there on the Omics Logic Learn portal that I'll take you through today would assist you get the expertise for a specific Omics analysis. And once you complete your research work, then comes your reporting publication. You may also get a recommendation from us based on your uh, research work. And we'll also guide you or help you in a research proposal writing for further applications after completing a research project. Some students come up and say that they want to apply for a PhD program or they want to apply for a specific faculty program uh, or a, a job position maybe, but they have to submit a proposal there or they want a recommendation. So our, uh, so our assistance would be there for you at each and every step. All right, so that was all about the structure what's included, and how we go about the entire research fellowship program. 